Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jiwon Tamang, and in this video, we're gonna be reacting to Miss Universe Philippines 2021, the interview challenge. So in here, we cannot uh, react to all of them. Uh, so I'm just gonna be choosing the five main uh, character, five main con what the fuck? Why was I saying characters? Five main contestants that I feel are strong, but I'm not saying others are not. Uh, five main contestants that I've been reacting to since past. It's gonna be Kisses, it's gonna be Steffi, it's gonna be Lauren, it's gonna be Morin, and it's gonna be Katrina. Okay, so I'm gonna be watching all of them one by one. Just a disclaimer, guys, there will not be video uh, in here uh, because the last time I did reaction to the runway challenge, I got a strike for that, so I'm not using video. So I hope you guys would understand that so let's just get into this video but before that please don't forget to subscribe to this channel let's hit 34,000 subscribers and please hit the bell icon as well if you guys have any information you guys can always let me know in the comment section and do not forget to follow me on my social my facebook instagram twitter tiktok everything link is in the description below now without any delay let's just get into this reaction okay first up we're watching kisses interview challenge uh, uh let's go hello good evening good afternoon everybody thank you for joining us my name is kirsten daniel Dalabin, and my nickname is kisses I am from Masbate City, and the story that I want to tell you is that I am a Virgo baby. My mother and father had eight pregnancies, and I was the only one who survived. And when I was six years old, I suffered from a viral encephalitis with only 5% chance of living, and I survived. I think that the universe has been very kind to me, and I think that it's my job to give back that kindness. Thank you. Your first question is, some people say that pageants foster stereotypes. What would you tell them? Mr. Walter, I think that belief is in itself a stereotype. There is no good thing or bad thing, it's how you think about it. And actually, joining a beauty pageant and being your true self, that is the best way to break that stereotype. It's all in the mind. It's about expressing yourself and being truly who you are. Thank you. According to Shakespeare, the eyes are the windows to the soul. What would people see if they looked into your eyes? Mr. Walter, I absolutely love that quote. And I think that the eyes are the first thing I see when I look at someone. And in my eyes, people can see that I am ready for this. I think of the Miss Universe job as something that I was born to do and that I will be putting my whole heart into it. Thank you so much. Lastly, how has the pandemic challenged you? Mr. Walter, I think that being away from my work, which is in showbiz, I get to I get to be with people every day in show business. Oh, I like how she did that. Was the mic uh, gone off or something? Because she was using mic and all of a sudden she just pulled it up. If she was having difficulty, she has for the full right to do that. So, one and a half year of not being able to do that has been very sad. But I was able to recalibrate and remember who I was with. Who I inspired before I even came to show this. And I think it's very important to really recenter. Re Thank you very much, Kisses. All right, that was Kisses interview challenge. Next up, we'll go to Steffi. I actually have seen a lot of comments about Steffi in the YouTube that where the interview was posted. Everyone was talking about Steffi, so let's see what she has in store for us. Now we have Steffi Rosa Barastri from Cebu province. Hi, my name is Adla. I am Stephen Rose Pearson Abirasri. Her I'm internet connection is. So, things that you should know about me is that I am an island girl. So, I really enjoy swimming with the fishes. I even saw a pregnancy horse. And at the same time, I swam together with pressure sharks. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Aside from that, I love, love visiting the farm. And I even vaccinated thousands of fish. And lastly, I'm a Sinola dancer and a woman of God. So that's it about me. Thank you so much. So Steffi, on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your beauty and why? For me, I rate my beauty of, of course, 10. I'm really blessed by what God has Obviously. given to my parents because of that. For me, beauty is about being comfortable with your own self, like knowing and accepting who you are. For me, that's really beautiful. And beauty is kinky. It's not just about the physique, but it's what really is me. For me, that's beautiful. That's why I rate myself 10. Thank you. 
Do you think there should be stricter censorship on social media because of widespread misinformation, defamation? I, I guess there should media? be. For me, I totally agree with that. With Naomi as a social media person, as a queen there, a queen plus queen there, I've always been into social media. And it's really important for me to filter what I post and what I share. And now people are taking advantage of the disadvantages of social media. Like We have to remind ourselves and put a borderline for us not to hurt other people. And remind that they, to make use of the social media the way it is designed. How has the oh pandemic God. challenged She you? could not complete that. Okay. On this pandemic, I have encountered so many problems, but I rose up and stand with this challenge. With this pandemic, I learned so many things, like the value of communication. Before, I never really asked someone, how are you, how are you doing? But with this pandemic, people need so much to it. That's why with this pandemic, communication, life, and time itself is so important for me. Thank True you. that. Thank you, Stephanie. All right, Seth did great. So now we're going to Maureen. I will talk about all of them later. First, I just want to watch everyone's. And now we have Maureen Krista Robles. Uh, Steffi, I feel like, you know, she was uh, not as popular, you know, if we talk about the popularity compared to Maureen and Kristen. But I feel like now because of her constant such good performance, she has now become as popular as the two uh, as the other two i feel like these three are the most popular one and you know if we're looking at the views of her interview video it explains it very much that her videos are also doing great yes, no. hi everyone i'm marie krista robowitz i'm 23 representing pangasinan i describe myself as a third culture kid because i was born and raised in Riyadh, saudi arabia to a german dad and a filipina mom wow from a very young age, I've been very aware of different cultures and religions, which helped my cultural sensitivity, but gave me a lot of stories to tell. According to my friends, my favorite way to start a sentence is in Germany, in the Philippines, in Saudi Arabia, because I've lived in all those places. Some people may perceive me as shy, but once I start talking, especially if it's something that I'm passionate about, like acting, makeup, travel, there is no end. So now, how would you describe your beauty? A blind person. I would oh. say that the beauty from the outside is not as important. What is more important is the beauty from the outside. And my beauty is I am kind despite my bad experiences in life. I've experienced so many things, but I wouldn't wouldn't want anyone else to experience that. It is often said that high risk equals high reward. What have you risked in pursuit to become Miss Universe Philippines? I have risked my mental health. I've had a lot of struggles with my mental health, but I know that this journey will make it all worth it. I know that despite my struggles, I'll be able to overcome this. How has the pandemic challenged you? The pandemic has challenged me in a way that I have gotten so comfortable being an introvert. So this one is another challenge, getting out of my comfort zone again and really um, utilizing my platform to inspire so many. Thank you very much, Maureen. All right, Maureen did nice too. Let's see uh, Laren. Laren and Katrina are left now. Wow, Katrina's video is more popular than everyone's. Next up, we have Laren B. Bautista from Laguna. Hi everyone, I am Laren Lee Magnaya Bautista, you can call me Laren. I'm 28 years old and I am representing the province of Laguna. You may find my name unique because I find it different also. It is a combination of my parents' name, Les from my mother, Leticia, and Ren is from my father, Efren. I feel like I am the only Laren in the universe. To be my parents, they are both blue-blooded Filipinos and I was born and raised here in Los Banes, Laguna with a very traditional Filipino household. Growing up, I was given a chance to enjoy playing outdoors, but not in your typical backyard setup. Naglalaro at tumutulay ako sa kabibilis, sumasakay ako sa trolley. Okay, I cannot understand that. Given the power to change a personal experience, what do you to change and why? Given the power to change something, I believe I would not change anything. Because with all the 
are both our basic needs. So I feel like um, having that enough food for ourselves, it gives us enough energy to really study for our education in, the, in our future. Lastly, how has the pandemic challenged? This question is for everyone, I guess. I am a complex survivor and it really changed my perspective in life. My mom also got COVID and it's really hard because his, she's already a senior. And I feel like I cannot live with my mother. So this pandemic really made me realize how life is important and how family is important to everybody. And we should take care and take, do not take advantage of the time that we have in our families. Thank you, Lara. All right, last but not the least, uh, Katrina, whose video is the most popular. Hi, everyone. So I've been to three Justin Bieber's by my thumb concert and one you look straight into my eyes while you were seeing me said I'm kidding me got full I said you know what I knew <laughs> the way she's talking she's, it feels like she's talking to a friend and everyone knows I hate spicy food but for some weird reason I still carry it in my bag because I just really like the taste of it tapatio la and I know this sounds super gross but watching Dr. Pimple Popper is so satisfied for me now call me spontaneous because i stayed at one of the most haunted hotels in california and it was so creepy because the volume of the tv kept going up and down the whole night it was so scary and during the pandemic i learned how to make kare kare and it was so delicious that all I your first question katrina is in today's world someone or some group often claims to be offended by something do you think that the world has become too politically correct and too sensitive? Hello? Yes. Hi. I don't think that the world has become politically correct. I think that what's going on right now is the cancel culture that we need to get rid of. I feel like that is a modern day of bullying. And I also feel that we need to stop cancel culture because it's as if we're judging people based off of um, what their opinions are if it's opposing to ours all of us sometimes opinions. like i i also do believe that cancer culture needs to go away but there it does so like if there are 100 cases of cancer culture there's only two or three cancer culture that are genuine and which we need we need to cancel some people out there who are dicks but not like a, the, a lot of people have just used this for you know like bullying and cancel culture needs to disappear because it's as if we lost empathy for the people the Philippines and the Vatican are the only two sovereign states that prohibit divorce. Are you in favor or against legalizing divorce in the Philippines? Obviously favor. I have been asked this when I was 18, and I still stand by what I speak from before versus now, which is as much as we want to stay committed to the person that we marry, we can't always decide whether or not they want to stay together. I know that married people stay together and try to work it out but at the same time we need to respect that they are no longer in love or if they choose better things that's better for their families and their children how has the pandemic challenged you it's challenged me in multiple ways i mean from having to go to school full-time and working full-time while trying to support my family having to focus on school and from home it, it teaches us responsibility and accountability because we need to be more focused and aside from that, I've had to deal from being away from my family and not being able to see them. And it's been very hard, but social media has been such an advantage for me because I can communicate with my family all over the world. Thank you very much, Katrina. Thank you. All right, guys. So that was uh, my, fa my five favorites, I would say, out of everyone uh, that I watched. Katrina, Laren, Maureen, Kisses, and Steffi. So after out of all everyone, I think the one who impressed me the most has to be Katrina Hanstow. Like, come on. That was amazing. The way she talked, 
with so much confidence. It didn't sound like she was answering questions. She was just in a, like in a competition. She was just like you know normal talking to your friend when a friend asks you a question and you answer back. Something like that. And I have to say her vocabulary and diction is just so clear and so wide. Uh, I do feel like if she gets into Q and A of Miss Universe, like Miss Universe, she has like she is she has the very much probability to win the crown. So I think Katrina has to be my top most favorite, and I think after that it would be Steffi, and then Kisses, and then uh, Maureen, and then Laren. Uh, having said that, this is just my opinion, and it doesn't have to agree with yours. Okay, if someone else is on your top, cool. It's your opinion, and you are totally, uh, you know, like uh, la. You are totally all right to be have that. So, what are your favorites? If you have to rank these five out of, you know, just let me know in the comment section because I'd love to see your opinion as well. My opinion is my opinion, and your opinion is gonna be your opinion. So, let me know in the comment section. That was it for this video. If you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and I'll meet you guys in the next video. Bye -bye.